Hello, this is David from the Bookman in Orange, California, with my weekly segment on things found in books. And uh, today I have four items that are interesting. Interesting to me, but I am easily amused. And I hope they will be interesting to you. We'll start off with penguin paperback from the 50s. Now, these penguin paperbacks have become quite a uh, genre in, in its own field. There's a lot of penguin collectors out there. And uh, so this is an appeal to them. Inside this book, I found this little advertisement right here. It's form your own neatly sectioned small library with the penguin bookshelf. So there you go. You turn it over. It gives you the details. It's the penguin bookshelf. You can hang it on the wall and put all your penguin paperbacks in. Of course, I don't know if they anticipated about how many penguin paperbacks were about to be created. This is in the 50s. And uh, it's, a, it's a wall model with the sizes. Uh, and it has a little order form at the bottom. Uh, one of the problems for us Americans is that it's all in England. It's for South Hall Middlesex because penguins are pretty much a British book. But that is a very unusual item. I think any penguin collector would like to have it, so let me know. Item number one. Number two, in this old Webster's Dictionary, near the back, found a couple of things. One, which we find a lot of articles in the newspaper or in the books, a lot of newspaper articles. And today I found uh, this article from 1973, 72. It's by John Cameron Swayze. There's a name from the past. And it says, Do we need a refresher course in courtesy? And he goes on to lament about how uncourteous we are in the 70s. I think if he waited a few decades, he'd really get a shock at the uh, level of courtesy. And in the same book, right on the other page, I found what seems, you know, kind of weird. It's, a, it's, a, it's just an application for a credit card. However, what I found interesting about it is from 1967. So I think credit cards were kind of just starting to just starting to get their feet on the ground here. It's for Shell Oil. And uh, on the back is an application. It's unfilled out. And you, you know, you just fill this out to send it in if you if you're if it says if you're uh, is approved, then you'll get your card in three weeks. Now, what I found interesting. Uh, beyond just kind of looking at the nostalgia of a 1967 credit card application, is the fact that um, I was looking for the uh, interest rates. You know, what you know, how much interest is this going to cost if I get this card? And nowhere on here, nowhere on this application does it says anything about interest rate. However, at the bottom, it says, customer agrees to pay for all purchases upon receipt of monthly statement. And then, and reasonable charges for statements showing past due balances. So reasonable charges has turned to 21%. I thought that was pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, next on our next on our principles of accounting, of course, in this book. Uh, I did find a, a business or another yet another news article on uh, accountant defense. I don't know. It's a it's a it's a finance article that seems to me just as boring from those days as it is now. But I found this I found this in the back, and this is apropos to today's current uh, current time. It's income tax time. I found a. 1040 U.S. Individual Tax Return Form from 1959. So, kind of looks the same. I don't know. I think that's not. It's not a whole lot of filling out for your tax return in 1959. But there it is. 
you know, in 59, you would, you'd spend a, one evening filling this out and uh, pay your taxes. There you go. Now, that's pretty interesting, I think. Finally, in this book, it's called The Essentials of Physics. And it was published in 1922, 1912, oh, 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 1921, my apologies. I should look this up first. And up here it says Clarice, Clarice Sheka, S-H-E-K-A, Clarice Sheka. And I didn't really find anything in the book. I found on the book some fascinating drawings right there she drew this beautiful picture i would say from the the fashion of the 20s or early 30s at least and at the top of the at the top it says the book of doom but there's more in the back she drew another oops Another character here. She drew a sitting person here. However, the the uh, face has been torn off, unfortunately. So you got that. And then lastly, I want to share with you this little gem that she drew right there. And it says, a la Veronica Lake 1921 style. Well, there you go, a la Veronica Lake, 1921 style. And the book has you know, numbers of underlining and margin notes, but I couldn't find anything else, uh, anything else drawn or written. And I'm assuming that uh, that Clarice was the, the artist that drew this, and uh, I must commend Clarice, she did a wonderful job. And uh, I'm glad to share it with the world, Clarice, in the year 2021. And uh, so there's that. And that's it for today. And I'll be back next week. Uh, if you find anything that you'd like to share with our audience, just email me at oldbook at ebookman.com. That's oldbook, no S, oldbook at ebookman.com and uh, send a picture of what you found a little blurb about it and i will be more than happy to share it with you uh, the audience at the uh at the uh, our next uh, segment and in the meantime this is david from the bookman in orange saying thank you for tuning in and i will see you later bye bye